Good morning, this is the Zipper Lady, and I want to show you how to shorten a jacket zipper this morning. Really simple, really easy, takes five minutes. Um, the first thing I want to show you are the tools. I have a pair of what I call nippers. They have a long sharp edge here on both sides, and I cut the teeth off with these. And this is a pair of pliers that I got from Harbor Freight and they have clamping at the top, nipping in the center, which is good for an overall tool. And then I also have needle nose pliers also from Harbor Freight. Um, and I really like these because they're long and they can get into places that my fingers won't. Sometimes you have to hold uh, with one pair of pliers and cut with the other ones um, when you get down to a point where you just need more hands, I guess, or more grip. Anyway, and then these are top stops. And this is a stainless steel top stop. And it clamps right over the tooth. So if you were going to put this on a zipper, these are really simple because they go over one of the teeth, just like that, and then you clamp it on. And so your last tooth you clamp this over the top of it just like that and that keeps the zipper pull from coming off and that's all you do with these then you have the little u-shaped ones I don't have very much feel feeling left in my hands because I've been an upholsterer for so long and so these are really hard for me to hold and a lot of times I use these long um, pliers the needle nose to hold that for me just because it's a lot more simple for me and I can put that in like that. So basically a little anatomy you have a top stop and on this is a plastic zipper and this is called a molded two zipper this is just a piece of plastic on a metal zipper usually you have something that looks like this and this is a top stop right there it's metal it clamps on right where you want your zipper to end just like that if you're really good, you can pop that off and reuse it. I use an awl, and of course I always leave the protective point on because I do stab myself. And I usually leave all these tools in my sewing machine drawer, so it's really important that you not hurt yourself. When you're using an awl, this came out of my button kit, and it's just a piece of plastic. You could easily use a cutting board for this, but when you work taking one of these guys off, these top stops, you want to pry it off like this and it's so much easier to do it against a piece of plastic so that you don't stab yourself or your sewing machine table. Anyway, the other quick things that I use are a marking pen. This one goes away with uh, air and this one goes away with water. Of course you need a pair of scissors. You can use a good pair of sewing scissors with these. I like my Wolfs, they're really sharp. Uh, but you're not really going to hurt them because you're going to go between the teeth on your zipper. You're really not going to cut anything that's going to hurt your shears. So you can use virtually any pair of scissors. Anyway, so the first thing you want to do is you want to mark it for the length. And I just lay it up against the jacket. And then I mark it for length. And I've taken off a few teeth. And that's all you really need to do is you take, need to take off a few teeth because this piece of fabric right here, or twill tape, is going to be folded over like that and put into the seam of the jacket. So all you do is give yourself a couple inches, cut between the teeth, cut off the top, and then you're going to remove teeth. And the easiest way for me to remove teeth is to cut off the pointed part of your zipper like that. And then I'm going to take the other pliers and I'm going to remove the part that's clamped onto the zipper. And sometimes it's easier to do this from the back. Sometimes it's easier if you roll it over your finger so you can get in there and clip it off like that. And once you get it kind of a little bit of it off, you can roll the rest of it off like that. And you're good to go. I always, always, always practice on the piece that I cut off if I'm really short just to make sure that I don't cut the tape 
and sometimes these are a little stubborn but you really don't want to get your tape in there because if you cut the tape it will shorten the length of your of the usability of your zipper so see how I'm kind of cutting us across that tape and trying not to catch the tape and sometimes that's easier done from the back so there, there you have it that's that's all you really have to do and you just take off a few teeth then if you're going to use the little U top stop you put it right there and then using either of your pliers you clamp it on that's all you do and the top stop then you have to put one on the other side of course the only thing the top stop really does is it keeps your pull from coming off the top of your jacket then this bit gets tucked in and sewn into the seam of your jacket. I have to tell you that it's really simple. Don't be afraid. Change out all those jackets for all of your grandkids. Well, and maybe your husband too. Thanks so much. That's it from the Zipper Lady this morning. You can find me at ZipperLady.com or ZipperLady at Gmail is my email. Or you can give me a call if you need some help. Thanks a lot. Make it a good day. Bye-bye for now.